What up? It's your boy B-Dub. And I'm back up in this bitch with another one. Check me out. I'm smoking on some fuel biscuits and some tangy dose. You know, I put it in uh I put it in uh so this is the tangy dose right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see. Get that focus. Focus, yeah. This that tangy dose. You know what I'm saying? Sativa, super sativa dominant. And um, it's really light, though, for a sativa for me. You know what I'm saying? I like sativas. I like a strong sativa that gives you good energetic. But this so mellow, man. It's like, ah, so I had to mix it with the fuel uh, the fuel biscuits, which be laying me down. So, you know, got to try to, like, balance it out a little bit. So that's what your boy is smoking on. Y'all want to check that out again? Focus, good. There you go. That's Tangy Dose. Yep. I need to get some light and shit around me, man. I got these little dim ass little lights around me and shit, so I'm going to get some better lights. But what we're going to do, man, we're going to check out the Mars Hydro tent. We're going to see what's going on with the Gorilla Skittles. We're going to check out the babies in there, the um, Colorado Skunks, the Sour 78 times Sour 78. And I put those Sunday drivers in there, those white seeds in there. Um, they were white, a little bit of brown on them. They were trying to get, they were trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show y'all what's going on with those. And so yeah, man. Other than that, man, I'm just puffing on this thing right, y'all. And we're gonna go in there and look at this thing, man. So. Shit, this is gonna kind of be a quick video, man, because the plants is just the plants, you know. It's just been a week since I put the last one, last video up. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just an update on the babies, on the seedlings, pretty much. Um, I did give the um, gorilla skittles some nutrients, so they're recovering from that, getting yellow without no nudes. I just wanted to get them back right. They had spider mites all on them, so I had to clean that all up. It took some times, actually. It took some time. So I did the foggers. I fogged out because they were uh, they were uh, heavily fucking uh, infested. So I don't trip about that shit because I know I'm gonna get rid of it. So I ran a few foggers in there. That just wiped out the majority of them. You know what I'm saying? The fogger ain't gonna get those eggs. So I bought some SNS 217. If y'all been watching me for years, y'all know I swear by that shit, and it's for real. The SNS 209 is cool, but it just repels them. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't kill them. The 217 kills the spider mites and their eggs. So that's why I fuck with the SNS 217. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I sprayed that on there really good, trimmed off a bunch of leaves. So before you use it, you know what I'm saying? Spray the plants down with the SNS 217, then strip off all the leaves, bro. That's just a little quick tip. Just strip off all the leaves, spray that shit again, man, and clean your whole plant up, and you good. So I did all that, so I want to show y'all how the plant just growing back, man. The leaves are just everywhere, and um, I trimmed them down a little bit today, sprayed them up again today, just to make sure we're keeping shit good. So... Let's go in here and look at those. Alright, as you can see, 50% the Mars Hydro. You know what I'm saying? You got dual drivers. It's TSL 1000 or whatever the hell. Do it 2000? 1000? 2 TSL? I'll put it on the screen. Your boy be getting it in. But yeah, this light be doing this thing, man. I like it. You know what I'm saying? It's not that big. It just fits in here. This is my hand. So, it ain't hot at all. It's not hot at all. At all. I never turn this light off. This light has been on 24-7. I never turn it off until I'm ready to uh, start getting them into their flip cycle. And then I put it on 18 and 6. But, yeah. Here they go. The Gorilla Skittles. Um, gave them some newts, so they're getting good. Cleaned them up. This one's still a little yellowing, but hey, I'm going to strip all this fucking yellow, yellow leaves off. Let all the green ones bust. You can see the little green ones coming through. So yeah, man. They pH that 6.3 to 6.5. That's what I pH my shit at. So this is what the uh, Gorilla Skittles is doing so far. 
I'm going to let them grow a couple more weeks, man. Then I'm going to put them in a bigger pot, let them do another couple more weeks. I want to see how big I can get them in here and see what this light going to do on them. All right? So check out the babies. All these right here, fat leaves, Colorado skunk. Look at these fat-ass leaves. About to get them out the cup already. Just been a week. These over here is the uh, Sour 78 times Sour 78. Yeah, and these little ones right here, these little Sunday drivers, those little white seeds, they popped up. I only had two, and they both popped up, thankfully. I don't know if these are regular seeds. I think these are regular seeds, so hopefully they're female. But yeah, this is what's going on in here. You know what I'm saying? Colorado skunks. Why don't y'all come get some of these at bdubgrows.com? Yes, sir. Everybody that caught these seeds, sound off in the, the uh, comments below. Let these motherfuckers know what it does. These bitches bust. As you can see, every seed I popped grew. Every last one of them, 100%. 100%. Another dude hit me. He said his was 100% popped. So yeah, these is lively seeds, man. As you can see, remember these two was laid down because these heads were so big. I ain't stand them up. They stood up on their own. All I did was turn the light up. You know what I'm saying? I turned the light up to 50%. And these stood up. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't have to do shit but put the light up for them. Give them some good water. And they doing their thing, man. The Gorilla Skittles! Yeah, I trimmed them up a little bit, sprayed them down some more, you know. Yep, I trimmed this one up a little bit more because this one was way bushier than this one. But I'm going to hit them again in a couple of more days or in another week or so. I'm going to trim the leaves up again. I'm not going to spread them out or nothing. They've been topped already. I might top them one more again, but I'm not going to bush them out or nothing, spread them out or nothing, LST them or nothing. Because I just got these. I took the clones off of them. I just want to see how they're going to grow. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see what it does. I'm going to grow these bitches out. I just want to get them as big as possible in this tent. Because I don't want to just waste it. You know what I mean? And these, all these are going to go in the other grow room. The uh, indoor frost tent. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put all these in there. And uh, because these are regular seeds, so I know I'm gonna get some males. I'm gonna toss some males away, maybe. But I got this other tent, this breeding tent over here. I am gonna cross. Hopefully, I get a male or a uh, male of one of these uh, skunks or sour 78s, and I'm gonna cross those bad boys together. You know what I'm saying? Have some funky and soury, and then I'm gonna cross it again with something else, man. So. Maybe I'll just cross these two together, the Sour 78s and the uh, Colorado Skunks together. Maybe that's what I'll do my uh, Warrior Queen with, you know what I'm saying? Instead of with the CNL, maybe I'll do it with these. But yeah, this is what these is growing up under. These Gorilla Skittles are going to be growing up under this uh, Mars Hydro to flower. These are going to be growing in another tent. Oops, my bad, y'all. But yeah, this is what it does, man, up in there. You know what I'm saying? They're already getting a nice size from what they were when I first got them. They got really pretty big since I had them. So, I'm going to let them do their thing a couple more times. In this, a uh, couple more times, meaning a couple more weeks in here because I want them to see how big they get. They're just now getting their nukes, so they should be getting their little vigorous growth going on. They just now getting nukes. So I'm going to let them go a couple more weeks, see what that does. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I get a change of pot on them, you know? Hopefully they grow fast. And these are grown. Everything I grow with the nukes, I use house and garden nutrients. The only nutrients I use is house and garden nutrients. Yes, sir. But yeah. Shaboy B Dub and it's Mars Hydro and we act this bitch. Fuck with your boy B Dub.